Hey guys, Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors. Today we're going to do a knot tying video on the first and only knot I ever learned and have done it with every type of application. It works for everything, mono, for braid. I haven't had any problems with knot strength. As long as you take a couple quick steps, you will have a very strong knot for every type of fishing. Salmon, trout, steelhead, bass, it doesn't matter. This is the ward knot. So let's get started. I'm going to be using just a couple different ways to demonstrate, but I have a size 7 snap barrel swivel here. I'm going to be using some high vis line to help with you guys being able to see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll do a couple different ways. I'm just going to do this as if I'm tying a normal knot to a swivel. I will tie one to a lure. And then I'm going to tie it with braid and the high vis line as well. So let's get started on tying the ward knot. All right. So like I said, we're going to tie this as if we want to have our right up to our rig. So what I do first, I'm dominant right-handed. You could do this either way, but I put the line through the eye of the swivel. I take it in my right hand and I give myself a little bit of tag room end. As you can see there. So this is going to your main line and then you have a tag in here. I pinch it here with my thumb right at where the swivel is. I go from my side around the back of the other line and create a loop. Pull that down. Now you have one loop. I have found you can get two loops out of this and be good. Three loops is perfect. Um, you can even do four just for extra strength. But I found three loops to be the perfect way with the ward knot here. So that's one. A second loop back around again. Two. And three. Now you have a little tag in left over. Now what you're going to do with this, you're going to take and push that little tag in back through the center. You're going to grab it with your free hand and you're going to slowly work it back up. Now this knot's going to start to form and what you want to do is use your mouth and get a little bit of spit on that to be able to tighten down securely without burning your line. Get that all moistened up, and then you'll pull it tight. And the knot itself will get nice and firm down. I let itself. Then we'll take a scissor here, cut off the excess. And you're ready to use your main line with the snap swivel and the ward knot. Now, let's go take it tie on a lure. Alright, for the next one, we're tying a lure here. We're going to use the same high vis mono. And we're going to tie on a steelhead jig. So it works the same way. Get your threaded through the eye of the hook. And I put the jig in my dominant hand again tag in, falls up to the left. Now what's great about this knot for jig fishing is you add an extra loop in it and this really helps get the jig to stand horizontal because you're creating a bigger knot with more compression on the jig hook and it allows a tighter knot. So we make one loop, two loop, three loop, in our fourth loop. Take the tag in, go back through the center of all of those loops, hold tight to that tag as that pulls down, get a little bit of saliva on there, and your jig, after you cut the tag off there, has a really nice knot, like I said, to hold up. It's not going to slide very much. 
So it's going to give you a nice horizontal position in the water column. So again, all you're doing is just adding an extra loop and this becomes a huge advantage on just having one knot on the river for all the types of fishing. So let's go look now at braid to mono connection. Alright, so now we got two different things here. We got some higher vis mono again, which is off of our main line. And then we're tying in our braid connection. This is just for visibility purpose, some fly line backing. So we'll tie this together and show you with the ward knot how easy this can be. Now, this doesn't mean it replaces all knots. This is just my preference, and I found it to be a really easy and quick way of tying a braid to mono connection. And it's just time consuming in terms of your saving time for yourself. And for me, I found that to be a huge part of the water. This ward knot, I am tied and back on the water quicker than a lot of other people. So, what I like to do is I will take. the braid and lay it over the top of the mono and I will tuck it basically by forming its own loop I will tuck it out of the way I am basically creating a ward knot over the top of that braid so I have my one loop my second loop and my third loop you can create four if you want, but three usually works for me. Now we have the knot cinched. Give it a little moisture. Holding still onto the Dacron here. We have tied that knot directly onto the braid. Now, with the braid, we're going to do the same thing. Now we have the ward knot tied onto the braid. We're going to use that as an anchor point for the other knot here. So we'll go one loop, two loop, a third loop again. Then taking that tag and going right back through. So now you have knot, moisten it up, cinch them down. Now in retrospect, you're not going to see the Dacron knot be that big on your normal braid. But the concept is the same. It tightens down really well. You clip those tag ends. You have a very solid knot. Not going to be breaking on you. And I will also mention, if you do the braid to the mono connection, make sure your diameter of the lines from mono and the braid pound test are the same. I've found if you're going to be using the heavier mono, like say a 15 pound test, your 25, 30 pound braid um, should be pretty close in diameter to that 15. So that way you're not going to be cutting through the line at the knot part. But otherwise, a very easy knot guys. The ward knot. And that's all I use here at Holy Moly Outdoors. Hopefully this helped guys. It's Rick Dan with Holy Moly Outdoors sign off. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. Good luck on the water. Fish on. Hey guys, thanks for watching today. Hope you really enjoyed this video and learned a lot. This is Rick Denham with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe my channel and take a look at the videos playing above. Lots more information and instructional videos to come. Thanks for watching guys. Tight lines, good luck on the water. Fish on!